Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was playing it down around today with what I'm going to call woven patterns. Uh, this one particularly, I mean, it really looks like it goes under and over and under and over. Uh, this is the exact same one, but I filled in with black with these white. And then this one really looks like it's woven. I'm not really pleased with the, the wood. Uh, had a bunch of cracking and there was actually a knot hole, but, and, and I did make maybe a little bit of a mistake by making, and we'll show you when we get to the video on how to make this. I've got too much of a point. I need more of a rounded object to make it look like this. This is sometimes I wish I had a printer, uh, like a sublimation printer. If you do this with blues or some other colors or yellows and tans, it would really look cool. But how did I do that? Just very easily take a rectangle and let's make it two by four, just make it equal. And we don't have to put it in the center of the page, but I like drawing the center of the page. And then take your smart fill tool and fill that in with black. Go get your transparency tool and go from one edge to the next edge. Now I'm gonna move this line out of the way for a second. I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna make this a not so gray gray. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna drag a black over to here and then you can change the intensity. And that's really the opposite I wanted to do. But this would be cool because it would look like it was going down. So we can change these by just clicking on them and making them a not so gray a gray and then clicking on this one and make it a pure black. So here's that line. So I'm guessing what I'm saying is try to stay away from that line and maybe reduce the intensity and kind of play with it. You still want some variation. You just don't want a line through there. And see, you can kind of see a line. So break it off a little bit. And that might work pretty well. So now let's take this one and we'll rotate it 45 degrees. We don't need our outline anymore. And control D and make a duplicate and rotate it. 135 degrees. And here's, there's two trains of thought. If you grab the outside and have it click, and if you have snap two objects, that'll work. So we're gonna make it just a carbon copy of this with control D. But on this one, we're gonna take and grab it where it says midpoint and it'll click to the midpoint. And then just control D. And isn't it funny since it's a transparency, it doubles in color. And then you just, Control D and then take this corner and have it snap to that corner. Same thing here. Grab both your items, Control D, and we're gonna move this right to there. No, actually we're gonna go midpoint. Mid, midpoint to midpoint. Control D. And we can actually, so we Control D the whole thing. We've got something further. Now control D one more time and go midpoint to midpoint. Well, I'm off a little bit on that one. I must have missed. That looks good. I bet I have a duplicate there, so I'm going to delete it. You could almost see the colors. Yeah, you know what? I'm off right here. I can just visually see it. Uh, let's back up here. I didn't get the midpoint right there. There we go. Control D and make a duplicate. Grab that midpoint and put it on. No, I actually need to go to this midpoint. And it'll say midpoint. And then Control D and make a duplicate. And midpoint. The midpoint. Now you've got these white blocks but we can make them black like I did in the other video. Let's do one more. Control D, grab that midpoint and set it on that midpoint. Now what you can do is group all these. Control G. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the center of the page even though it doesn't matter. And then have your rectangle or a square hit P. Let's bring it in a little bit. 
holding down the shift key so it'll be uh, equally growing from the outside in. And then let's just grab both these and go right here to the intersect tool and just pull away your new woven pattern. Pretty cool. Now there's a couple of trains of thought on how you could uh, fill this in and I'm off on one of them. Uh, you just need to watch that. So if I'm off on that whole line, but that's beside the point. And then sometimes this doesn't really work. Let's fill it in with black. Let's go ahead and put it to the back of the page and let's bring our, sometimes in transformation, it doesn't really work. So there's two trains of thought you could do. Take away the color. Whoop. I really took away the color. Take away the color of our box and hit P or hit P, put it in the center. Take your pattern and hit P. And then just fill in with your smart fill tool these black. And maybe you could do every other one. And see, there was that leak. Um, this is kind of like a leak detector because it's going to go, it's going to jump up to that next one. So I would not engrave this one, but you can see it's a totally different look. There's that leak again. So whenever you get the first, first one off, they're all going to leak or they're all going to be off. That is pretty cool and pretty easy. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.